it's it's surreal based on the fact that I've been there, you know, when different people were inducted and, and was in awe of the whole setup, and then all of a sudden you turn around and, you know, it's happening to me, so. It's funny, all, all, all my friends and, and, and some Hall of Famers who are friends say you don't realize until you walk in there and you're in, on that stage and then it hits you, like, what just happened? Um, I've had to, um, I've, I've worked on a speech more than I've ever worked on any speech, ever, not for the sake of the speech, for time. This isn't just my night. There are 10 other people other than myself. You know, I came from a loving, caring home and hard workers, uh, grind it, dream, you can do better than this. That's where I came from. So to ever think, I would think, well, someday I'll be in the Hall of Fame, no. Um, I was stunned last year when they said I was a finalist because I didn't even know what, how to be eligible. What, what did you have to do to get it? I would not know. I never thought about it. Um, then I had to ask, what's a finalist? What does that mean? I didn't know what a finalist was. I w I've been at great schools. And the, the only, Kansas is kind of like this, but Kentucky changed everything for me. Um, you all, all coaches wait on that call from one of those schools. And when I got the call, you look and now it becomes, okay, you're on the biggest of big stages now. How do you do now? You were always trying to build programs from scratch then you were trying to take programs and create relevance. You were trying to coach at places that never got their due, never got the respect they deserved, even though they were number one in the country. They never did. Um, and then you're here at Kentucky. Now all of a sudden it becomes, okay, can we be the gold standard? Can we be the school, the program, the athletic department that other places emulate? They try to do what we're doing. 